What's up guys welcome to gadgets portal once again and today I have with me the cheapest ever windows phone it's the new Nokia Lumia 530 and uh, this is also a quad core phone with windows phone 8.1 Nokia cyan update so I'm really quite curious about how Nokia did this what are the compromises they have done the price of this phone at this moment in Indian market is around 7200 rupees that is around 120 US dollars here are some quick specs and as you can see this phone features 1.2 GHz quad-core processor under the hood. So now let's unbox the phone and let's see what Nokia has to offer at this price point. Well I have got the dark grey color and unfortunately there is no black color option. So those who like black phones may not like this color. And the dimension, the form factor of this phone is kind of Lumia 620 clone and nothing like Lumia 520 or 525. There is no rubberized coating or any soft touch feel on the back cover but Lumia phones are always very good in build quality so there is nothing to worry about. Well let's put this phone aside for a while and check what are the things inside the box. First of all this is the battery and it's actually a 1430 milliampere battery that is exactly same as Lumia 525 so the battery backup should be decent I will check this out and talk about that in the in-depth review so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch this is the user manual and uh, if you are really new to Windows phones or smartphones then only you can check this otherwise Windows phones are very simple and uh, these manuals are actually not needed you have got some accessories here and I'm quite relieved that you have got the headset which wasn't supplied with Lumia 630 launched few months back. There is obviously no gold plating on the 3.5mm jack and overall this is a decent headphone not premium but overall very good for this device at only 7200 rupees price tag. Well I'll talk about the quality of this headphone in the in-depth review. You are also getting this charger with the USB cable attached and there is no separate data cable so you have to buy one. Overall this is compact and not like the retractable ones you have got on the previous phones. That's all inside the box let's get rid of these things here and have a quick look at the device. Well guys before I start I want to show you what you have got under the back cover. Removing the back cover is quite tricky. You have to push on the camera and try this way. Here you go. Now Lumia 530 is a dual SIM phone and you are getting the SIM card to slot here. And this is the slot for SIM 1. This phone takes micro SIM and you are also getting the micro SD card slot here which can take up to 128 gigs. So this is going to be very handy because the internal memory of this phone is actually quite low. I'll talk about that later on in this review. With the Windows Phone 8.1 update you can move your installed applications to your external SD card on Lumia phones. So this is really great news for the Lumia 530 buyers and a good advantage over the Android phones. Well now let's switch on the device and check the display quality as well as the external hardware and the software inside. Well after a really long procedure the phone is ultimately ready and uh, let's have a close look at the display first. This is a 4 inches 480 by 854 pixels resolution display at 245 ppi which is not bad for a device with this price point but the color rendering is actually not as good as we are used to see on Lumia phones. The fact is the display here is not IPS LCD with Nokia clear black like Lumia 525, Lumia 620, 630 etc. This is just a plain TFT display and uh, with this high brightness mode the display color is not still that much punchy and uh, this is one of the tricks Nokia has done to bring down the price to only 7200 rupees. But still I'll not say this is a very bad display for the price. Here is the ear speaker at the top and just like the Lumia 630 there is no ambient and proximity light sensors on this phone. So whenever you get a call and put this phone to your ear, your ear touches the display part at the top and then the display gets automatically switched off. So in this way you can save power and also prevent accidental touch. You can also use the power key to do the same. 
So this is another nice trick Nokia has done to bring down the price. Now at the bottom there is a hole for the microphone and the navigation bar is actually on screen. That's why the resolution is 480 by 854 not 480 by 800. This is the power key and you are getting the volume rocker here. The quality of these keys are as usual very very good very sturdy and there is no camera key on this phone as well just like the Lumia 630. This is the 3.5mm headphone port and there is nothing on the left. At the bottom you are getting the micro USB port for charging as well as data syncing and there is no OTG support. This is the loudspeaker hole and at the top you are getting the camera. There is no camera flash and the resolution is 5 megapixels but unfortunately this is a fixed focus camera. The video capability is also not HD up to 480 by 854 only. Overall this is a good looking phone with great build quality, good finish and there is basically no flaw on the design but still the price is quite low and we know that after a few months the price will go down further. So what we have got at this price point is quite satisfactory. And the real good news for this Lumia 530 buyers is as you know all the Lumia phones have got the same interface whether that is a 40,000 rupees Lumia 1520 or 7,000 rupees Lumia 530. You will get the same look and feel on the software interface and this is the benefit of getting an entry level Lumia phone over Android because Android phones are highly customizable and entry level Android phones are actually quite pathetic. Well guys, now let me give you a quick walkthrough of the interface and talk about what's new on this new Windows Phone 8.1 device. First of all, there is an active notification center or action center what Nokia is calling it and this is the place for notifications. There are some toggle switches as well just like Android and you can click on this to change your important settings like brightness, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, location etc. There is also a camera option which is very handy because there is no camera key on this smartphone. As I mentioned before, this smartphone features a quad-core 1.2GHz processor with entry-level Snapdragon 200 chipset and seems the interface is quite fast and uh, the GPU is Adreno 302 which is also not bad. The RAM is maintained at 512MB which is decent for a Windows phone and you should know that few applications may not support on this phone but again this is an entry-level phone and 512MB of RAM seems quite nice. Windows Phone 8.1 update has brought lots of customization options into the smartphone starting from this wallpaper support. As you can see few tiles have gone transparent to allow you to see the wallpaper and uh, this is actually a quite nice trick. Now you can also add few more tiles into a row just by decreasing the tile size but on a 4 inches display I think this is not that much useful. Accessing the small tiles may not feel that much easy. So this is mainly suitable for large display phones like Lumia 630 or Lumia 1320, 1520 etc. Now the inbuilt storage of this smartphone is actually quite low, only 1.09 GB free for the user out of the box. But the good news is the SD card is compatible with a very high 128 gig of memory card. So this is really great and as I mentioned before unlike Android you can directly install applications and games into your SD card. So just buy a 16 gig card at around 500 or 550 rupees and there is nothing to be worried about. Well as this is a dual sim phone you are getting two dialers and two messaging options here. Let me show you the keyboard which is also improved and you are getting the continuous input which is first time on this Windows Phone 8.1. This is the fastest way of writing and uh, the writing accuracy is also excellent. The display size is quite good for one hand typing and overall I liked this keyboard very much. In this context I also want to mention here you will get Line, Viver, Skype, WhatsApp, Instagram, Beta, Twitter, Facebook etc support on this smartphone. Well next I want to show you is the camera interface and as you know this is a 5 megapixels fixed focus camera that is the subject may not look that much sharp if the subject is very near to the camera lens. You have to maintain at least 1 meter distance and uh, as you can see the shutter is actually quite slow it is taking around 2 seconds to capture. 
the video recording is also below par 480p and uh, overall this camera is not up to the mark and not definitely a strong feature of this Lumia 530. I will click some photos outdoor and talk about the real capability in the in-depth review so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. Some of you might know that Microsoft is developing a voice assistant service just like Siri and uh, you will get that on future devices but still you can get this on this phone. I have uploaded a video with the procedure. You can check the description below for the link of that video. Otherwise you can use this Bing search tool and you can also use voice command from this option here. Now this Windows phone is also a Nokia phone so there are some Nokia free services you will get with this smartphone. For example this Nokia Mix Radio is a great feature you should consider before you buy your smartphone. This will bring you access to millions of songs around the globe and you can also download this so this is a really great feature. You can create your own radio station with your favorite artist and overall this is one of the main reasons you should consider a Lumia phone. There are lots of options, lots of categories you can browse through. You will also get here drive, here maps etc for navigation and you can also download maps for offline navigation. As this is a Windows phone, you will get integrated Office, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. And the cloud storage on this Lumia 530 is 15 GB which is significantly higher than other Lumia devices in its class. Windows Phone 8.1 has also brought File Manager on the smartphone with an app called File and uh, you can also get unlimited tabs and also a lot of other features on the Internet Explorer 11. I will show you this in the in-depth review. So overall this Lumia 530 is an excellent device regarding features and regarding hardware you cannot blame this phone because the price is only 7200 rupees and what you are getting is quite reasonable. In fact the processing power of this phone is quite good and you can play almost all the mid-level games on this smartphone. On the Windows Phone Store as you know you can try each and every game whether that is free or paid so this is another good reason to get Windows Phones and uh, at this price point most of the Android devices are quite creepy and not up to the mark though few devices like Motorola Moto E or devices from Panasonic, Lenovo, Micromax etc are doing well. Nokia X is another device in this category but the performance is not as good as this phone. Apart from the display and the camera, this phone is as good as other devices in the same category like Lumia 525, Lumia 520, 620 etc. So if your budget is low and if you don't care about the camera and the display that much, then you can surely get this Lumia 530. Stay tuned for the in-depth review and you can also check the channel for reviews on Motorola Moto E, Lumia 525, Lumia 630 etc. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next review, bye bye and keep in touch.